Our other big story tonight, Democrat Anthony Brown wants voters in Maryland to give him a promotion. However, some have expressed concern that electing Brown would simply mean another four years of the O'Malley administration. In tonight's Commitment 2014 report, 11 News reporter David Collins asked the lieutenant governor about those claims. David joins us in the studio with his one-on-one -on -one with the candidate. David. Stan, there's an intensity about Lieutenant Governor Anthony Brown. He means business. Observe him working through a crowd, and you'll notice how quickly that energy overpowers his friendly public persona. Soldier. Colonel. Lieutenant Governor Anthony Brown is a product of the military. The Bronze Star. He considers himself disciplined and detail-oriented. He's loyal to a fault and now using his Army resume to convince voters he deserves a promotion. I'm a results-oriented problem solver. Look at you. Desert. Desert. How you doing? This is the homecoming the State House gave Brown back in 2005. He had just returned from Iraq. Brown says he uses a military approach to tackle everything, especially problem solving. Brown believes an all or nothing style doesn't accomplish anything. I understand that uh, um, even uh, with the most urgent uh, matters, um, often the progress that we make is incremental. Um, and if we can uh, make meaningful um, progress in an incremental way uh, and work towards our end game or the goal, um, I think that's good. Brown views himself as a chain of command guy where everyone is held accountable and holds up the failed rollout of the state health exchange as an example. We ask some people to leave. We refocus our vendors and we ask those that didn't perform as promised under the contracts with the state. We fired them as well. Brown says it's how someone reacts to adversity is what matters. Well, that's what Marylanders are looking for. They're looking for leaders who, you know, even in the face of adversity and challenges, uh, are going to stick to it and get the job done. Brown has been a loyal soldier to Governor O'Malley. He is viewed, though, as more moderate than his liberal boss. Brown has, however, pushed his own agenda through the General Assembly and often but quietly parted ways with O'Malley, specifically on budget items and some tax issues. But the loyal soldier declined to directly answer critical concern that I his administration to, uh, would simply be an extension of the current one. Martin O'Malley and I are different people. As I travel, David, around the state, what, what voters are asking me <clears throat> is not so much how are you different from Martin O'Malley, but what's next for Maryland? Political analysts see Brown moving to the center, citing his pledge of no tax increases and a goal of improving Maryland's business climate. But observers wonder whether he's inspired by shrinking lead in the polls. His campaign invited President Obama to get out the vote rally for Brown. It's scheduled Sunday in Prince George's County. Reporting live from the studio, David Collins, WVAL TV 11 News.